Hey guys, Ashley here with Make It With Ashley. Today we're going to be doing two cards from the Fresh Paint Workshop. Uh, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe so you get all of my YouTube videos so you never miss out on the fun. And join my Facebook group where I'll post workshop guides and live events. If you like this workshop, simply place an order for the paper and I will email you the cutting guide for free as a thank you for supporting my small business. To start off, I'm going to grab the Capri ink, little wedge of uh, my sponge, and we're going to start doing some random circles. Okay. Um, so again, I'm going to kind of start by doing some light kind of circular motions and I'm just going to do that in a couple little areas. We are going to be putting um, some cardstock down on top of this. So we really only care about the edges. So once I have some light circles, I'm going to circles, I'm going to go in and kind of add daubs to the edges. Um, and what that does, it gives it more of like a sprayed spray paint ink look. All right, all right. Now I'm gonna switch colors. So that was Capri, and I'm gonna flip to Bluebird. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to squeeze so that I get some ink on the lid. I'm gonna bring my water brush back in. I was using this earlier, so it's a little messy already. Squeeze some water in. Go. And then I am just gonna kind of lick off of here. Um, I can also just kind of tap my brush. Um, flicking kind of helps get you some larger water drops. Now make sure you do not put your wet lid back on. Either let it dry, wipe it clean, or if it's just a little wet you can you can put it on and just don't squeeze it. Um, but you don't want to get the water into your ink pad. Okay. So I'm just going to set that aside along with my water brush. So next, actually, I lied. I'm going to bring it back because we still need some of the Bluebird ink. But we are going to set our base aside to dry along with my, um, my paper for random stamping. I am going to flip over my Versamat so I have enough something nice and squishy to stamp on and actually bring my paper back because I realized I want to do some random stamping. Okay, so I'm going to bring in my small star, so that top corner, and I'm going to put that on my little one by one block. Okay, um, and then this is again Bluebird ink, and I am on the darker side of the Capri paper, and I'm just going to do some random stamping. Now, I want to make sure I have some on the paper, I want to have some off the paper, I want to make sure I'm, I'm that's fine. Um, I am rotating my stamp. My stamp. This is not uniform star. I do feel like I need a little bit there, and I need like a maybe a little chunk. All right, cool. And we are gonna call that good. Um, so next, once you are done with your random stamping, you are going to ink the edges. So I'm gonna grab my sponge back. We're gonna add some texture. Now again, I like that whole messy kind of spray paint look for this fresh paint um, paper pack. It works really well. So to get kind of that messier edge, I'm going to be going from the center towards the edge. And so some I'm just going to go right at the edge and then some places I will come further in and drag it across. And that really gives it kind of this fun shadowed look. It's just very important. You don't want it uniformed. You want some spots um, to come in a little bit further than others uh, to give it more of a, like a, a natural look. Okay, so next up is grabbing the awesome stamp and we are going to do a two-tone. So we're going to start with the Capri, which is always the lighter of our two, which that's always what you want to do whenever it's a two-tone. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stamp or ink it up the whole thing and then I'm going to ink at an angle just the bottom half of awesome and I can kind of see what it's gonna look like beforehand but I'm gonna aim for the center and look at that so see how you have kind of that lighter 
on the top and darker on the bottom. So next, oops, we're gonna go ahead and grab our scissors and we're going to dovetail either side. Okay, and we need to wipe that clean real quick with my stamp cami. I'm gonna bring Capri right back and I'm just gonna add just a touch of color. Now there is a little bit of Bluebird left on my edge, but I'm not really worrying about that because I do have two tones already on the ink, so the two blending together is perfectly fine with me. This looks, this is very water-esque. I like the, I like this font, it's kind of fun. All right, and then we need our, our star. And that is just going to be a solid. That one's going to be in nectarine. And so I'm going to grab my three by three, gently peel my stamp off. And that one just fits on there. Uh, let me line this up. And one thing I do like about this stamp is it kind of has a built-in ombre. In um, some of the scrapbooking layouts, we did some two-tone where we had like half red, half orange, where it was like a cross transition. Um, we've done some rocking and rolling techniques where you start in a lighter color and then you roll the edge. You just saw the font where we did half, and did a, kind of a horizontal line break. So there's a lot of options when you bring in those two colors. Okay, so by now, our base is ready to go. And so I'm gonna go ahead and, and glue that Capri piece down, and that has the, that fun stamp and uh, jits. And then uh, next is going to be kind of this like checkered raceway. And, um, so just with how I have my, my, my stickers, I'm actually going to bring this a little bit up. It does want it a little bit more like lower centered on the card, but I think I, I like that look better. I'm going rogue on this one. I'm not even measuring, um, because what's going to happen is this, um, oh, my, my lemonade piece. I do need to add some accent to it. We're going to take that gel pen. And we are just going to quickly go around the edge. It's not even showing up. The white doesn't show up that strong against nectarine. Huh. A little bit, you can kind of see it. Kind of going back and forth, so it's kind of a darker, thicker line, I will say. I almost think black would have been a better option for outlining this. Just. Yeah, it is, um, it is rather subtle. So this is going to get glued down. Now I'm going to glue it so it's in between some checkers. Okay, that way it kind of stands out better. Um, so our fun star, I'm going to do kind of how you have darker at the sides. I'm going to do that lighter one at the top. And that is going to go there. And then Awesome can go over our star. It's supposed to go here. But I don't know if I like that. I think I'm going to bring it lower. Yeah, I like it low. I like it low. Go in rows. So I'm going to put this in the center. In the center. This is going to be flat. Okay. Um, so that is centered on the, centered on the yellow. That. Then I'm going to bring in some 3D foam tape for awesome. I'm going to pop that up. And this is a fun one because this is real easy to, to do again and again. 
These are die cuts on this card, not stickers, it's stamps. So it's real easy to recreate this one. Let's see here. Okay, so I like this right there. Um, so we have awesome. And then it does also have you use a sticker. You're the best. Okay, so if you want to leave this off, it'd be real easy to make multiple versions of this card. Um, let me lost my tweezers. Aha, found them. Um, so I'm going to kind of have this sticking there. So it's mostly on my pop up. And then since this is red, I definitely need some red accents on here. Now, um, it's got the star, so I can do stars. Um, I can do kind of circles. Um, there are hearts in here. However, I feel like, I don't know, sometimes throwing hearts on makes it a little bit less gender neutral. Um, let's see, I'm kind of thinking that. Let's see, do I need a red star down here? Yeah, there we go. Love it. All right. Let's, let's okay, so here's the finished product. How fun is that? Awesome. You're the best thing. Super cute, super easy. And one more thing that you can do is you can embellish the envelopes. Okay, so this is a fun thing, especially I still have Awesome on my ink block. Um, so I'm going to stamp that onto the flap and I'm going to use that same technique. So once more, I'm going to start by inking my entire stamp in Capri. So again, that is always start with the lighter color. I'm going to flip over to Bluebird and I'm going to do the bottom half. And then we have awesome. Okay. And then um, I like to do more of the back or sometimes I'll do like strips along the bottom. Depends on, on what you have. Um, there's some fun ones that we haven't used. Um, I really thought this like little spiral was kind of cute. And so since the top half is a slightly lighter color, oops, I was thinking that might be fun to kind of like do like a spiral off that edge and then um, maybe like a spiral off that way. So just kind of some fun like little pizzazz. Something simple to add. Okay, but that's it. That's it. We got them um, and there is our card. Thanks for crafting. Oh wait, we got card number two coming up. Okay, so card two, we are going to need our sponge. Um, we can go ahead and start with our lighter color. So we're going to bring in Nectarine. Um, and then we need our lemonade piece. And we are going to ink the edges. Okay. Again, that is Nectarine on the outside of the lemonade piece. So the orange on the outside of the yellow. And then we are going to be using a sticker on this one. And we really want it to pop. So I'm going to use some kind of swirls and then also um, I'm going to use some like dabs to give it kind of that paint look. And then um, we are going to bring in that paint drip that I really like. Okay. Um, and this is a rather large paint drip to be honest and we are going to run out of room. So I'm going to bring in my scratch paper. And then um, I'm not going to worry about this like long part. I'm just going to kind of use this like skinnier drip part. And um, I want it so it's just a little bit above the bottom. Okay, so it's going to look like that. Um, um, then off quick with my stamp chamois keeping everything keeping everything clean I think that is it for nectarine and we need and we need some candle I'm gonna use that I'm gonna use that same sponge again I'm gonna ink the edge of nectarine with candy apple so again I'm kind of using that the darker color that we have in those inks to 
add some nice contrast and edging to our paper. Um, and then we need, oh, the edge of our card. Um, oh crap, hold on. Let me, let me check if it's candy apple or, you know what, I'm pretty sure it's nectarine, even though I already have candy apple on here, so that might kind of give it a cool effect. So let's see what happens. I'm going to go to my card base and just kind of do the edge. Okay, so notice this time I'm definitely keeping it a little bit more contained to just the edge. Okay, and that's because I do want that white contrast border to really to really show. Okay, so then we need capri. Oops, magnets. And then you notice we have our small and our medium. So I'm going to put my small on a one by one block. I'm going to ink that. Oh, that doesn't. No, that doesn't. There we go. Okay. There we go. That lined up better. And then let's do our medium, which is just a little bit too big for that one by one. So I'm going to ink that up. Ooh, got it the first direction on the first try. I'm going to call that a win. And I, th I think we're ready to assemble. Let's see if I missed anything. So we are going to start with our base. And then we have our nectarine piece. That's going to go down first. And that is generally just, it's just centered. Okay. Um, and then we are going to do those cute little hearts. Um, so notice those are the same size. So these are going to go in either corner. And then there will be a piece in the middle. Let me scooch up so you guys can see a little better. There we go. Um, there will be a little gap in the middle, but we're going to cover that up. So don't worry about it. Um, but think like a quarter of an inch little border in the top and the bottom. Pay attention to the direction of your hearts. Okay. And then we have our um, Capri. I'm going to be on the dark side. And literally, you are just aiming for center. Okay. And then um, this is going to go in the center of that Capri piece. Um, actually, this would have been one that I should have popped up. Oh, well. Too late now. And then our cute like little zip strip chunk that is going to overlap drips and it's going to kind of go right at um so like i just covered okay the top of it so as low as you can covering up your stamp okay um and then i need oh yeah on my on my stamp set and oh yeah see how we have that fun um, what do you call it like little can't think um, sponging sponging behind it to kind of help it pop even more uh, and then we're gonna add some stars in okay um, so I'm going to add a star to the lower left and I'm going to add a star kind of right above it. Um, and then we can even add a couple acrylic pieces if we'd like. Since we're doing stars, we should probably stay consistent. Um, I don't like how big that one is. Let me see if I have any smaller ones left. Oh, here's a small white one. I feel like the white's lost. They want a white one on here, but again, I don't know. I'm just drawn to the black, but I don't have many black left. Ooh, no. Mm -mm. You know what? How about a... About an acrylic circle. Kind of like that with the O and the yeah. And then let me see what other black nonsense I can put in that bottom corner. 
I have a lot of hearts. Oh yeah, heart? Let's see. You know what, I might just leave the, just that single star. I don't think it needs anything down there. I have this one, but I don't really like that there. I think I just like, yeah, I'm gonna, let me glue it down, let me glue it down. All right, those are glued down. So now one of our final touches is going to be adding a quick dashed border, and that is gonna be around the outside of that Capri piece. And it's just gonna kind of disappear behind that heart paper. But that'll help tie in kind of that black even more. So again, um, don't be afraid to bust out your journaling pens or the white gel pen. A little bit of dash line or border really adds a lot in pizzazz. Um, so let me go ahead and bring in our first card. I feel like I did something in this envelope, so let me do something to this one. All right, so I added kind of just a simple so rad to this envelope. So we have awesome, so rad, oh yeah. All right, so super cute, fun cards. Again, if you like the fresh paint, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me for more videos. And if you order the paper pack, then I will send you the cutting guide so you can make the three two-page layouts and two fabulous cards for free. Thanks for crafting with me, you guys. Have a great day and craft on.